guys so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video so this video is actually going to be quite a special one because as you can guess from the title we went to Disneyland this time it was actually my second time going to Disneyland I have been to Disneyland before around like 10 years ago with my parents when I first came to Paris I was probably like if it was 10 years ago I must have been like 14 13 years old and honestly we didn't spend a lot of time doing any activities in Disneyland because it was really just like squeezed in like our three days overall in Paris so I really didn't get to see a lot of things. Also it was kind of my dream to go to Disneyland once during the autumn holidays but it's all about the Halloween decoration so finally being able to do that as an adult was quite a um, heartwarming experience to say the least. Although something that I didn't know when I last went to Disneyland that I do know now as an adult is the fact that I hate roller coasters. <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of the whole instability and going really fast experience as someone who have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> you will see this um, during the clips but I didn't really film a lot. I was trying to but there was just like so many people there and honestly when you're in Disneyland you don't really think about like talking to camera. <laughs> you just really want to be in the moment but at least I tried to film a little bit because the decorations were really cool. I really wanted to show you guys the decorations so I hope that you're going to enjoy the following clips and I think that I'm going to talk a little bit more about like my like recommendations and don'ts and do's at the end of the video so see you very soon at the end of the video <laughs> one ride you can kind of see because my makeup is like all over my face and yeah it was really fun super short but yeah we're pretty much gonna spend the day in Disneyland I will try to film but I don't really know how because there's so many people but I will try to do my best to film it because the decoration is like super nice it's like the Halloween version such good vibes I feel like a kid again I will talk to you guys later I will really try to do my best to film <laughs> This chamber has no windows and no doors. It offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> what happened so we were already in the haunted house we were there and after five minutes he told us to leave and that they had to evacuate the whole attraction because there was like some technical problem so that's not and now we're gonna go to a boutique value of indiana jones maybe indiana jones that's it for now Oh, 
right next to mine The color and shape of your creation Something beautiful is this is one of a kind It's hard to find my way in overtime But it feels so right Not a bird, not a plane Not even Superman can make me want to change I feel invincible In the morning, in the night You know that I want you by my side Is it too much to ask to love or let it go? Welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed the clips. So some of my recommendations if you're going to Disneyland this year or next year and specifically Disneyland Paris. Honestly, my overall experience, I think that I would rate it as a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 because first of all, there was a lot of technical issues with uh, a lot of attractions while we were there. You would just kind of expect more professionalism from Disney. But again, we are in France, so I'm not that surprised. Uh Maybe it's just Disneyland Paris, maybe in like China or in like Tokyo it's better. I have no idea. What else did I think? Honestly, I really liked it. I think we went there around like 10 a.m. and we stayed around like 6 or 7 p.m. and uh, it was quite cold and we were outside all day so it's kind of cold during the whole day which is totally my fault. It's not Disney's fault. <laughs> it's the weather's fault. It's Paris's fault. Yeah, I guess if you're going um, for a full day, just warm. <laughs> As I said in the beginning of this video, my favorite attraction was probably the Puppet House. I also really enjoyed the... Um, cannot remember the name, but the first attraction that we went to, like that was okay. If you're someone who doesn't like roller coasters that much, I would say like it's fine. It doesn't go that fast and it's not that crazy. So if you're someone like me who doesn't like um, roller coasters that much, I would say it's fine. The second roller coaster that we went to was the Space spaceship thingy honestly no never again never ever 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 again it's super scary it's all in the dark it's no <laughs> and the last scary one that we went to was the tower of horror honestly the name says it all during that whole week of my autumn vacation that we went to disneyland i already felt like super anxious and honestly when we got to the house of terror i was already like I'm gonna die. <laughs> Honestly, it was already like the end of the day. It was cold and dark and I was hungry, but I was like, okay, let's do this. Let's see what happens in the house of terror. <laughs> 
Um, if you're scared of heights, like I am, don't try it out. I don't think that I ever felt that scared in my whole entire life. I was literally screaming like a crazy person and, um, and I also almost started crying in the middle of it. So if you're someone who is really scared of heights and has anxiety, don't do it. I think that my only recommendation is to go really early, which is something super basic. I think the park opens around 9.30 a.m. And also definitely just make sure to book your tickets in advance because once the park is full, they will not let in any more visitors. So yeah, just definitely make sure that you have your tickets booked before going to Disneyland in the morning. Honestly, I don't think that one day is enough. Like you need at least two days. I think that's all I have to say. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that I didn't talk a lot but I really hope that the clips that I filmed help you to kind of imagine what it's like in Disneyland Paris if you have never been before and yeah thank you so much for watching again I will see you guys next week again with a new video and just please make sure to subscribe to this channel I like this video if you enjoyed watching it and I will see you guys next week again bye